So Dr. Conley, tell me about stages and grades of breast cancer. So stage and grade are two very important factors that are considered when any patient is diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, stage is determined by the size of the lump in the breast and also by whether there are lymph glands involved. And that reflects more early stage breast cancer. So for example, if a, a cancer is lower than two centimeters in size, we call it T1 for tumor. And if it's above two centimeters, for example, we call it T2. And a patient may read these values in their reports. And it's a combination of the T stage and the lymph node status that tells us whether a patient is stage one, two, or three, with stage one being the smaller lymph gland negative cancers, and stage three, where there are more lymph glands involved or the cancer is very large. And finally, stage four is where the cancer has actually spread from the breast to distant parts of the body for example, the liver or the lung or the bone. Now, in terms of grade, grade is really how the cancer looks under the microscope. The pathologist looks down and they look at the activity of the cells, what they look like. And a slower growing cancer is going to be called grade one. A faster growing cancer is grade three. And that's the more aggressive type of cancer. And then other cancers will be right in the middle and they are called grade two. And all of this information is taken into consideration when we're, when we're considering what type of surgery a patient will have and what type of treatment they have.